So I lost uh, 12 volts to my RV, um, which shut off the refrigerator, all the ceiling lights, and the um, hot water heater. And I went and diagnosed it, and unfortunately my distribution box is under the bed, but you can see the main breakers, the DC panel here, and this hole is where the converter, which converted 115 volts to 12 volts when you're hooked up to shore power, and supplied this DC panel, which supplies the refrigerator, the hot water heater, and the ceiling lights with power. Um, I had 115 volts going in and no DC coming out. So let's go look at that box and look at the solution I came up with. Um, I called and found a price for the, um, the actual replacement board and it was $360. And I wasn't going to spend that. So I just engineered something that will work with the same amperage. So basically, this is the old control board and that fit into this box, that hole that I showed you. And right here are the 115 volt leads that supplied this converter uh, DC or AC power. And these two wires here, this is negative, this is positive, supplied that DC board that I showed you with DC power when you're hooked up to shore power. Um, and this unit here is the $350, $360. So I wasn't going to spend that. Um, but I wanted to keep the same footprint. I wanted to um, still have whatever I come up with in the same box. So what I did was take this box and um, cut breather holes into it so I can mount a new $100 $100 um, converter which takes 115 volts and converts it to 12 volt DC and supplies the main uh, DC control board throughout the RV. Of course I'm going to hardwire it to the same breaker so I cut the plug off and you can see that I've got that ready to wire up and I went ahead and hooked up my DC wiring positive and negative um, and what I did, I couldn't find my soldering iron, so I basically just took one of these fittings and crimped it on there and then cut the ring binder off. So you come up with this, which gives you a nice tight metal finish, no strands of wire to come out, and that's what I mount it. And here and you can see I put my grounding wire and I did the same thing with the grounding wire um, I did use shrink wrap because I've got to do a little bend in here um, and you can see that it held memory once I bend it back and then I'm gonna actually take electric tape and you can see these open posts here and it's underneath too so at these open posts I'm gonna wrap an electric tape and basically now this box Give me a second. Slides right in there. Same footprint. You can see I needed a little bend here. Same footprint, but plenty of breather holes. You can see the exited air to it and the enter air to it. So it'll breathe just fine and cool, plus I'll have it in a metal box and it'll act as a heat sink because these do get warm. So it'll act as a heat sink um, 
but this box cost me $100 and it's still 55 amps, 115 volts going into it. So it'll do the exact same thing this damn thing did for $360 for 100 bucks. So once I get it mounted, I'll go ahead and show you the um, end result of the mounting.